I remember when I was first getting started in the traveling lifestyle, I was trying to figure out where to camp and how the public land thing worked. And I found a spot in a national forest that looked pretty good. And the temperatures were uh, pretty good that time of year. And so there was a little fire ring. I pull in. I decide this is where I'm going to camp. I start getting my chairs out of my van. I start setting my awning up, you know, hammering the stakes in for the post for the awning, just getting everything going. And this guy comes over and he says, hey, man, I, I, I saw you. I'm camped right up on the hill. I wanted to come over and introduce myself and welcome you to the area. And I said, hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. He said, by the way, this Friday night, I'm going to be having a, a little shindig in my camp and you're invited. He said, we'll have a campfire and there'll be some drinking and some dancing and who knows maybe by the end of the night you might even get lucky and I said wow that sounds pretty good count me in what should I wear to something like that and he said ah, it doesn't matter it's just gonna be you and me today we're talking more power stations I don't know why I'm doing that Namely, we're going to talk about the Jackery 500. Now, if you've been researching little power stations, you've probably seen reviews on the Jackery 500. Here we go with another review for the Jackery 500. Jackery, Jackery, Jackery. That's all we see on these off-grid channels. And here we go again with more of it. But there's a reason that I wanted to uh, review this, because the van build's coming up, and I want to look at everything. You know, I'm always getting requests for something that'll run a CPAP machine, and I've always been apprehensive because first of all, I don't have a CPAP machine and I don't know exactly the little nuances of how it works on those things. I know that they have humidifiers and heaters and you can turn that part off and extend the life of the CPAP machine's uh, functions with less power on smaller units. But, uh, you know, I just know what I can research from uh, you guys in the comments and what I can find online about CPAP machines. Well, this one is claiming that it can run a CPAP machine for about eight hours with all the bells and whistles activated. I haven't tested it. And there's some comments online where folks that do use them are saying that that's what they can do. I just wanna let you know, I haven't tested it. What we have to do is look at how many uh, amps it pulls, how many watts it pulls, and what this thing at full charge can do. Now this one has, this one has 518 watt hours and 24 amp hours. The DC input is 12 to 30 volts at three and a half amps, 100 watts max. And the AC output is 110. It's a pure sine wave. And it'll put out uh, 4.5 amps. So if you got a little four and a half amp uh, angle grinder you want to run on this thing, according to the specs on it, it can run it. You've got one 120 volt AC plug for it. That is uh, 500 watts continuous, 1,000 watts max. If you plug something into it, it has a little surge at the beginning. You know, it'll get up to 1,000 watts. And then 500 watts continuous. You have three USB ports that are 2.4 amp. You've got a cigarette lighter socket if you want to use that. And you've got two DC outputs. That's where you plug your CPAP machine. And you've got one input that takes three different types of inputs. It takes a cigarette lighter input, it takes a solar panel input, and it takes a, a wall outlet input, 110, all on the same one. And all the cords for this are provided with the unit when it comes in the mail. I wanted to see from completely zero, it was at one, uh, one percent, how we would fare with the Jackery proprietary solar panel that comes with. Now you can get other solar panels that are compatible with this, but Jackery went ahead and, and sent me out the 100 watt uh, fold up panel that they use. And so I put it to the test. I, I discharged it all the way and I stuck it out here in this Arizona sun, kind of tucked this underneath the panel so it wouldn't get direct sunlight and tested it for one day. Let's see how everything shook out. Good morning everyone, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel. And as you can see from the background, I have now left the mountains, the Ponderosa Pines, and I'm in the desert of Lake Havasu City. The sun has just come up over the over the hillside here. I'm going to get a solar panel out and I'm gonna test a Jackery Explorer 500. In a previous video I just did with the Jackery and Enkio, I wasn't able to discharge them. Well, 
This time I'm not going to let you down and I do actually have 100 watt, I have a 100 watt panel and an 80 watt panel. Jackery sent me the 100 watt panel that, uh, that they sell. So it's their proprietary panel, but it can also be used on other things. The big challenge with the bigger portable power stations is having all that power is great, but if there's not a way for us to recharge it once it's discharged, we're kind of dead in the water. So the bigger the battery, the more power it's gonna to take to recharge it every day. Why do we care about a little bit bigger unit this time? Why not just go with portable and small and you know, the smaller the better in some cases? Well, for years I've had folks ask me, can this run a CPAP machine? And I believe this one will go ahead and run your CPAP machine full blown. It's a pure sine wave inverter. We've got the 100 watt panel from Jackery to see how it's going to uh, recharge. And before I started this video, I discharged the battery all the way on it. So let me go, just go grab that stuff. The sun just popped over the hill. I'm going to set it all up and get it charging and then head to the gym. Let's see what we come up with on this. If you are in your van or small vehicle and you're not powering a refrigerator or a Fantastic or a Max fan all day long, this unit's going to provide quite a bit of power for you let's go ahead and get it oriented in the sun it looks like check this out see how it folds back that allows you to catch the curve of the sun over the course of the day it's always going to be better if you pick it up and move it you know every few hours as the sun moves but with this one we can curve it a little bit so that's kind of a nice feature let's go ahead i'm going to turn on the display to show you here we are one percent on the battery so let's say we ran all night long we ran our CPAP machine we watched some TV we had our cell phone charging on it maybe we mixed up some stuff in a little bullet blender and now we're down to one percent and the Sun just came over the hill let's see how this thing will charge it's telling me that it's pulling in 67 watts so what I can do, since it's given me how many watts it's pulling in, is I can set this in a way where I can see the reading and adjust the panels to get it dialed in towards just as close as I can, or the highest I can get it. We'll call it peaking the solar panel. So let's do that. It looks like 65 watts is the maximum I can get out of it. And I know the sun's gonna move this way. So I'm gonna kind of orient the panels. I'm taking off, so I'll be gone for a little while. I wanna set the jackery in the shade behind it so it's not in the direct sunlight. The time, is 825 so we'll mark that we just woke up we had our battery down to one percent we ran things on it all night long the sun just came up we're going to put our panel out and see how this thing charges over the course of the day to see what kind of power we'll have by the end of the day let's check it out Well, I will be darned. I really will. I just got back from town. Let's look at the time. I believe we started at 8.30. It's now 1.10. Almost five hours. Four and a half plus hours. You can see, I want to show, I'm going to put the camera in the sun, but I want you to see that, well, you can see the shadow for one thing. We're no longer lined up with the panels. That's why if we were hanging around, our rig doing this we'd want to move the panels with the sun but just like right now how it is we are looking at 41 percent and 42 watts now eventually i'm gonna to have to pull these panels back some because there's going to be a, a tall shadow cast by the bus the sun kind of goes over to the other side of the bus so i'll pull them out a little bit and reorient them to get the most out of the sun the panel was showing 42 watts is what it was pulling in off the 100 watt panel and that didn't make sense to me that the sun wasn't perfectly aligned with it and when i put it back over here it was still just showing the 42 watts so i unplugged the solar panel from the jackery and plugged it back in and it jumped up to 62 watts it looks like it just wants to stay at uh, 62 watts. We've got plenty of day left. It's only 1.15. I believe it gets dark around here at 6 o'clock this time of year. 
So we've got some more charging to do. Why would you want this size? Why would you want to have to lug around something that's uh, a little over 13 pounds over something that's around five pounds? Well, the reason for that is you're gonna get more power. You're gonna get more clean power out of a pure sine wave uh, 110 plug and more power for longer for your handheld electronics. What I see this being good for is if you are someone who you just go out for two or three days at a time, but you live in a house and you can plug this in and top it up before you leave. I wouldn't try to run a refrigerator or a fantastic fan or a max fan, but if you're just running your handheld electronics, your laptop and a CPAP machine, if you have one, I believe this thing will be able to do the job. Now you're still gonna have to charge it over, uh, if you use it over eight hours on the CPAP machine, that's pretty much gonna tap this thing out with all the bells and whistles running at the same time. But with that 100 watt panel, you should be okay to catch, if you're getting sun, to catch a lot of power to, to uh, power this thing back up as you go. You may not deplete it every every day. You may turn your humidifier and your heater off on your CPAP machine, so this thing's just barely sipping. Now, now another thing about this unit is if it's only pulling 10 watts, you've got something plugged in that, that's only using 10 watts, and it'll tell you right here on the display how many watts it's using, so you got that going for you. It's gonna shut off after six hours. If that doesn't work for you, then plug something else in so it's pulling more than 10 watts and that t uh, that six hour uh, trigger won't uh, kick in. What about running a Fantastic or a Max fan with this thing? It'll run it, but it's not gonna run it very long. One of the things that took me a while to realize was even though that, that uh, fan doesn't draw that much power, it's on all the time. For me, it'll be on just as soon as it starts warming up inside the bus to draw the, the hot air out. And as I go into the evening, I'll leave that fan on uh, well into the night. So it's drawing something. I don't have it on full blast all the time, but it's drawing something all that time. So it's accumulative. Unlike the refrigerator that works on a third cycle, when this thing's on, it's drawing power. Now, I, I, turn, I have a fantastic fan. I turn it on drop it down I push the down button on it seven times so it's on the seven times lower setting than full blast let's see what that's pulling in power we're gonna take our amp meter we're gonna come over here and set it to amps looks like it's on DC let's see if we can get a shot of that 0 0.3 amps seven down let's turn it up all the way pulling 2.4 amps 2.3 that's yeah, fluctuating with that fan running all day long on high it's taking some some serious uh, amps out of your battery because of the fact that it's running constantly just something to be aware of if you're thinking about your power needs when you get a fan I mean it, when you get a fan installed in your rig you pretty much need to get house batteries coach batteries and some solar up on your roof uh, this will run a little O2 cool fan just fine from Walmart and that won't draw as much just give you an idea so there you have it taking its place in the portable power station market the new Jackery Explorer 500 bigger more power for longer comes in at about 13 pounds best one partnered with a 100 watt solar panel like we saw in the video if you want to jump on one of these right now we've got a promo code down in the notes where you can get a huge discount if this is something you think might have a place in your rig. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next upload.
How do I get stuff so dirty so fast? Am I getting this in the shot? What am I? What am I getting in the shade here? I'll leave it on. Savannah, are you getting a good drink? With that battery running, with... <laughs>